I'd say, if you're flipping a coin, do you think heads is more important than tails? If you're looking at a workforce, do you think white collar is really more important than blue collar? It's balance. It has to be a balance. But it seems to me that what's happened in general is we've promoted one form of education at the expense of all the others. And this happens politically a lot because to get elected, you need to say things that will appeal to large groups of people, not individuals. You have to speak to large groups. So we've been saying to large groups for a long time, a four-year degree is the best path for the most people. And who's been saying that? Teachers, guidance counselors, parents, a lot of well-intended people have said in a very global way that this path is the best for you. So what that means is that a college degree is no longer a college degree. A college degree is higher education. The kind of programs and training you're talking about, what do we call that? We don't call it lower education, because that would just be crazy. We call it alternative education, which is pretty close, right? This over here is what you want. But if you're not really cut out for it, maybe you'd like to learn a skill. That's how, that, that's what's happened in education, in my opinion. We've clearly elevated one at the expense of apprenticeship programs and CTE training and a long, long list of other opportunities that in fact are far, far better designed for many millions of individuals. But because we're not talking to the individual, the individual gets lost. And that's when things really go off the rails because this path over here got expensive, right? It got more expensive over the last 30 years than healthcare, than real estate, than food, than energy. Never before in the history of the world has anything so important in education become so exponentially expensive. Now, what do we do next? We made unlimited money available for kids to borrow in order to go in this direction. So this is the direction you'll want to go in, but if you can't afford it, here's some money. When people say, how in the world did college get so expensive? I think that has something to do with the answer. We told you it was the only sure path to success, and then we made unlimited money available for you to borrow. So, is it any wonder the colleges, they'll charge whatever they, they can. They're in a business, they have to. They'll also build a stadium to make it look better in a brand new student union. All that cost goes into the money that you have to borrow. So, half a trillion, three quarters of a trillion, then a trillion. Now $1.3 trillion in student loans. We've borrowed, heck with borrowing, we've lent money we don't have to kids who are gonna really have a hard time paying it back to train them in many cases for jobs that don't exist anymore. Again, a very long answer to your question, which is what do I say to people who discourage funding for jobs that actually exist? I say you're crazy. <laughs>